Endoscopic mitral valve repair is one of the most difficult procedures to learn. The learning curve is steep. And this steep learning curve has partially to do with the fact that the operation is done with long shafted instruments, with the surgeon looking at the monitor instead into the wound. Acquiring endoscopic skills with long shafted instrument is a process that no one can escape from. Acquiring these skills in patients is not logical or efficient. In 2014, we developed a high fidelity mitral valve simulator. When we introduced the simulator, we intended to use it for education and training of surgeons, for preoperative planning and advanced education by developing a 3D printed pathological valve silicon replica for using it as a platform for fine-tuning new techniques of mitral valve repair. One of the incentives for using the simulator was development of pathological valves for educational use and for preoperative planning. Although 3D printing is widely available for many purposes, the 3D printing of pathological mitral valve is more difficult to make. We have developed a process to make an accurate 3D reconstruction from 3D echo and produce a 3D printed silicone replica with negative molding and silicone casting. We have used pathological valves in the simulator for educational purposes. We have also used it for preoperative planning in prospective patients. We are now able to make a 3D printed replica of any pathology in any patient. With regard to the education, the simulator is used in EX endoscopic mitral valve repair courses that I direct four times a year at Maastricht University Medical Center. The outstanding uh, issue of this course is that uh, is the scientific approach uh, to teaching mitral valve repair in the minimal invasive fashion. It's been a very interesting course. We're uh, planning to start our own minimal invasive mitral program in our hospital in Sweden. And uh, this uh, course was very hands-on, helpful with tips and tricks uh, of every moment of the operation. The course is designed like an air pilot training concept course, starting with technical and theoretical pre-assessment and two subsequent days of intensive training on simulators, mixed with interactive presentations and videos regarding all aspects of endoscopic mitral valve repair. It's uh, really good to um, have a, a standardized way to uh, approach the stitches and, and I think it really helps. It's obvious that it is learnable and that's comforting for, to, for knowing how to develop your program. The course ends with technical and theoretical post-assessment. We have already trained over 100 surgeons from all over the world and our preliminary analysis show very promising results for skill development using the simulator. It is definitely something I will recommend also to my colleagues in the future.